families used to eat together, things like that. You go to these poor little villages and stuff in the world where they've got no shoes on their feet, even to this day, they stick together. You get animals in the forest sticking together. You know what I'm trying to say? That's what you find in China, in Chinese culture, even to this day. Even in China, you find the families are very strong, connected together, connected. This is togetherness, you know what I mean? But people you find all over the world, in China, England, America, Africa, wherever, India, anywhere. People just too, there's too much violence and destroying each other. And that comes from hate and greed in, uh, in, within themselves, in a dark place. And Kung Fu teaches you focus. Excuse me, but there's people in the world now who don't know anything about that. They just know, you know, um, there's arts, so are in the holiday, I'm going to go snowboarding, man, or I'm going to climb a mountain, or I'm going to this or that, I'm going to play, play tennis, or I'm going to do some kickboxing. Hey, have you ever tried that? Hey, let's get my kids into MMA, man. You know, or let's fucking, whatever it's going to be next up, you know what I mean? Um, and, and there's people on Facebook or whatever talking shit every day about you, about people. And, oh, yeah, man, oh, you got to try this. And it's just, it's all fake shit. They don't know what they're talking about. It's just no grounded, you know, face the heart, challenge yourself. To be humble when everybody else is treating other people like shit, you know. And, and you, if you haven't been the punching bag, or ever, and, and, you know, it's like you know, there was a, there was a story. It's a good story of like um, a karate master, a karate master, okay. And this is the very essence of kung fu, I believe, too. Where this karate master is a true story, apparently, where. I forgot which style it was, but you can check it out online. There's even a, there's even a, a show about that, about karate. Some, uh, what's it called? Um, I forgot the name now. Oh, but it's a show, okay, all online. It's a karate thing, okay. And there was a master um, who who died, and he was really, really good. He was attacked. He was uh, set upon by a group of thugs, and he was able to. Um, he could have destroyed them all with his skill. He was a real master. But he didn't. He let them beat the shit out of him. And to me, that's ridiculous. I don't believe anyone should do that. I reckon you've gone to a point of where well, you've given up on your life or you really care about trusting people that they'll learn something through this and become good people later on. I don't know what. They could have killed him. But he let them beat, he let them beat him up and he didn't even raise a hand. He didn't even block because his blocks are trained or whatever. He just didn't want to fight against it. He, he saw, he thought that any kind of resilience or blocking against or defending is a kind of fighting, is a kind of action. Now, to me, I think that's ridiculous. Maybe he just accepted that he's in the wrong place at the wrong time and to accept all pain and there's, there's no pain and he's like the true master. But for me or any civilized person, I would and I would even advise for any martial artist or any human, you'd, you'd have to defend yourself. You can't run away. You have to fight and defend yourself. I wouldn't want my my body to be smashed up by people at all or stabbed up. You know what I mean? But that's the level he was at. I'm trying to say he's teaching you to like really be able to do nothing. So I say I can be the punching bag. It doesn't mean anything. People feel like they've been walked or walked over in this world. I'm sure maybe you feel like you get walked over sometimes by people just with their words or their attitude towards you. I've been through shit. I've been bullied most of my life, but it hasn't changed me. I still go around and be kind to people and try to make communication with other people and avoid trouble. The ninja and so the ninjas in Japan were some of the smartest warriors ever. I believe they wouldn't they wouldn't go straight up to a fight. That's ninjutsu or ninja art. Japan, let's say. Well, so that kind of mentality was stealth and avoiding trouble and going straight in for the job. To me, that is the real essence of Kung Fu, what it should be about. And you only fight, you know, or have to, you only walk around that maze if you enter the maze. You make your life complicated, you see what I'm saying? Or you, you have to be ready for anything. So Kung Fu is like teach, training you to be the warrior, to be ready for anything, like all martial arts do. But other, a lot of martial arts and, and fighting arts at it are just teaching you to be a fighter. And that's not what Kung Fu is about. And that's the essence that is put through like the, the old movies like Karate Kid or, or old stories of old ancient Chinese stories, whatever they say. That's the true essence of Kung Fu. That's what it's really about. So people out there don't have a fucking clue what true Kung Fu is about. And they think it's a joke. And it's, the same, it's going the same way these days with a lot of martial arts out there. And, you know, 
it's like, you know, most people that you've ever seen in your life who's been like really good, let's say, in the martial arts, has been from the older generation, the generation above my generation, let's say, my, uh, or a generation or two before me, you know. But in my generation now, I see these young people that are doing martial arts, but it's like the next generation, like, you know, I'm 32, but it's like in, the in this video, it's like you see people in their 20s or the next generation. Martial arts is dying out and they're not going to know much about it. You see this stinking, sick fucking propaganda of uh, comedy and in the films and this piggish attitude towards one another, violence in the world in the whole, crazy phase, uh, what we call it, fads and, and people's minds the way they're going in this world. You know, people are sick anyway in general. There's laws being invented by the day, things being changed, this is alright, that's not alright, and things being acceptable, unacceptable, and you've got uh, religious battles between groups, and it's just the people, people in general, it's like a, um, is there any hope, you know, but martial arts is a hope, it's tend to focus on yourself. Why wouldn't you focus on the centre, your centre, what, you, why? Everything grows from the centre. A seed will grow out into a fruit or a tree, you know. It grows out. The universe is expanding. You go against them. You're imploding yourself up. It's the same way as if you crawl into a ball and you give up on your life. You're going to crunch yourself up and kill yourself. You're not going to do that, are you? No. So that's what martial arts is about. So martial arts, though, on the fighting part of the Kung Fu, though, it's like telling you to be ready in, in, on many, many levels. I find there's a lot of physical skill and technique in it, in terms of feeling your whole centre and then doing. You can feel it, so when you, do it, when you can do it, you can feel the balance through the different techniques in what you're doing, I'm saying. Now, I didn't say fighting, I didn't say exercising, working out. All of that's included. How to defend, how to strike, how to apply your personality now in a certain way and, and speak uh, in a feelingful way to get more answer back from the other person because you want to know better and make better communication with your fellow human beings. You're just feeling everything you're doing. It's like, you know, you know when you sense when you're doing some cooking and you sense that thing you're cooking up there is like burning, it's like you can feel I need to flip it over. You can feel that essence more better, it's like your whole life. It's like when you're laying on a pillow at night, relaxed after you've been treating people like shit all day, and then you go to bed the same as anyone, and you rest on that pillow because you want to go to sleep now, close your eyes. Oh, you can feel that pillow is a little bit off the air, you turn it slightly or move your pillow, or oh, adjust it, you can feel it. You don't just lay on a brick, do you? You know straight away, and then you get busted up neck the next day. So maybe I'm speaking a lot of shit here, but. Kung Fu is just something I come into contact with. I was interested in Kung Fu from the films and stuff, you know, and I wanted to learn a more like a more like Oriental or Chinese art, especially because like Kung Fu films mainly. Um, they interested me in the physical arts and the spiritual side too, and all that, the, the mind side. I mean, the inner internal. But because like, I did karate first, there weren't any other like schools around for other things like ninjutsu or. You know, Aikido, there were, you know, or even Hapkido, there was only like a Jiu Jitsu school around, which I've never been interested in, just my personal choice. Other things were like, you know, Muay Thai and kickboxing, um, but, you know, I weren't too into it, or boxing, you know, uh, or other little other schools that were around, like fitness, you know, you get this Thai bow and whatever people do out there. So it was like, I did kickboxing, you know, and that was it. I was thinking, well, I'm not going to go back to karate, and there's no other good schools around, I want to look for some Kung Fu schools because you know that's what it's about and, and then that, that's what happened you know my journey into Kung Fu went from there I learned you know, five animal Kung Fu I learned a bit of Wing Chun coming to China I continued I've done some basic Tai Chi a bit of Bagua long fist Wushu weapons both south and north and I'm not boasting about it all but I've learned a lot and then, and then other elements and other arts bits and pieces I've learned online too from things such as Hapkido and Ninjutsu and Aikido and things like that but I love it all. I did do two weeks of Taekwondo once. I did do that. But I love Wing Chun. There are like Tai Chi schools in, in England, but I find for Kung Fu schools, there's not a lot of good ones. And martial arts schools on the whole, apart from MMA and stuff, you don't get a lot of good ones these days. 
It's, like, it's, not, it's not like in the 80s or 70s, everybody going into karate, karate, karate schools, the kids getting into karate. It's not a big thing. Sports are a big thing now, like basketball and all that, but I feel that's just a part of society, people playing around. I don't, you know, Kung Fu doesn't teach you, like, um, so, um, so I mean, uh, basketball don't teach you what fucking Kung Fu teaches you. Basketball, maybe you're a good jumper, maybe you've got a healthy body, but you're just running around, dodging with a ball, and that's all in this fucking talk. I'm not putting down everything, I'm not trying to put down everything that's out there, okay? I'm saying you can't compare things like that. Kung Fu is teaching your whole body when there's nothing, when it's pouring down with rain or whatever the fuck, when you're standing in a burning hot sun, when you're standing, feeling the essence, feeling the, the fucking tendons and bones of your body. You might never get into a fight, but you are damn strong within your within your structure, remember. Not the thin tree comparing itself to the oak tree. I'm saying... <laughs>